everyone so we will come with a very interesting lecture today so welcome to first uh, the space and remote sensing and gis channel okay so today what we will going to do we are trying to uh, create a back uh, a geocoding process okay so suppose you have a data uh, something like this uh, as i showed you so this is something data which is the locations of the data sets will be there so these are actually the different fire stations uh, locations of that particular uh, place which i am just taking from here okay so what is our main objective is with that i have some noise data sets which i just uh, make arbitrarily okay our main focus is here in this lecture that is when you have some data that location name you have but you don't have the latitude and longitude then how you can going to uh, create a point file by from this name also okay so that is our main focus in this particular lecture so to doing this obviously you required access online account and you and the credits also required because whenever we are creating this uh, using the geocode service so uh, your credits will consume okay so anyway but this is a very useful tool uh, sometime uh, which you, um, if you want you can use it so i just created uh, one thing remember that once you created this uh, file so always you just save this file in csv ms dos format, um, format okay so which i already did okay so now i go back to this uh, arcgis pro and see arcgis pro we have a uh, separate options to adding this type of data from here this is called address place uh, okay address and place layer so you can simply click on this file okay and you just see here uh, if i just click on this okay so if i click on okay so now you just see here that file will going to come up so uh, that is the first process which we can see it here like uh, sorry uh, that is the first process okay so that is that is the first process which we will see show you here like here you have the noise file okay csv file will be there so, but you just see here the geocode table will uh, right side it's automatically open okay so now what we will do i'm just going trying to convert this file uh, over there okay so uh, just please uh, see this this is the location name so i will going to take it as a location name for uh, this analysis so here i am just simply click on the st start so it will ask you for the input locator so you can select the arcgis world geocoding service okay so that's why it is taking a few consume uh, okay so whenever you are uh, using this service so obviously you have to log in with before that you have to log in with your id and password now next i am going to click okay so here if you see here so uh, we are going to see how this data will actually structured so it is asking so if you want more than one file or one field okay so that you can select accordingly you can go to the next so here input locator you have to give which one you want to add uh, you want to lo means add with this file so obviously i am going to select the location one okay so once i selected the locations one then i will go to the next okay so this is a noise you could uh, that is a file which you're going to create as output okay and uh, then you just click on the next so only thing you have to select for which country you are going to create it so i'm going to create it for india so i'm just going to select uh, india okay so that's all now you can go to the next okay so this will be some populated places okay so are the locations on the tables is limited to specific table types so you can give it as a populate states or you can go give for the address okay or you can go for the postal okay so that you can use accordingly so i'm just going to give categories with the address or coordinate systems or populated area okay so uh, you can select accordingly like this two i can select also okay so then you just click on finish okay and then uh, you can simply click on run so now uh, once you click on run so the geocodes uh, will start running you just see here geocode table will start running so after some time you will see it will create a automatic some points 
over that particular locations. Yes, a few points may be some uh, errors will be there, but yes, it that can be manageable. Okay, so you just see here. Okay, so that is the data. So see, most of my data in Uttarakhand only only one data sets which I found that you will be going to select in somewhere else. Okay, so that is the only issue. Or otherwise, you just see if you go right click and zoom to layer. So it will show you most of your data. So few data sets which I found which is uh, not coming exactly. So what I will do, I will just first right click, go to the data and export data I will do. Okay. So once I will go to the export data, so wherever I want to save these data sets, I can save these data sets also. Okay. So I can go to the E, okay, and I can go to this one and then under the noise I am I can say final uh, ok so you can save this and click on ok so now you just see here that is actually saved nicely on that particular zone ok now you can see uh, all my points are actually generated the new points which I want I can create it that point also so I can switch off this point ok and if I want I can extract I can edit all these points and uh, this one I can remove also so for that uh, you can just going to take the selection tool select this two, ok and uh, you can simply click on delete ok so it will going to delete your file so edit uh, you can go and click on save so whatever the final file will be there so it will going to show you only that particular locations ok so you can see here uh, i can focus over this particular area ok so now uh, you can see how nicely uh, this total map will came and you just see here according to that particular locations few informations uh, from the geocoded table it will come automatically you have to adjust few extra table also come which you have to correct ok and you just see here very nicely the latitude and longitude also you will get with my noise maps noise informations also added with this particular things ok so uh, this is how you will going to use the our this one it's called uh, address place uh, and layer which is called a geocoding service which you can use for your purpose so that's all that is a very nice way uh, you can represent your data just by the name you can um, convert it as a, as a shape file so now beautiful thing is you know like uh, even I, now i want suppose immediately um, a boundary map of this uttarakhand okay so i don't have it here so for that case you can use our uh, living atlas platforms also so in the obvious living atlas platforms we launched very recently so there you can search anything about the india ok so india state so boundary you can type like this india state state ok if i search like this so i will get indian uh, state boundary or something like that ok so we have to check there is a lot of data sets ok you just see you will found over the india ok so which you can use accordingly so india i will just type india let us see uh, i will get it or not ok so this that is you can see here lot of data sets you will get not only for this uh, and you just see you need to search a lot ok so just so just you see here we we got uh, in the state boundary of 2023 ok so you can get this layer ok so you can simply add this with uh, that so you can find uh, see within a second that indian state boundary will come so now if you want to extract only the uttarakhand boundary from this then you can use this one ok our this selection tool ok and you can just simply right click and go to the selection and click make layer from the selected features ok so you can remove uh, this particular uh, full map and you can see you nicely you very nicely got this map and if you want to highlight the boundary you can highlight you can change the color of this particular boundary which you are using you can simply uh, change the color ok so I am just going to show you that ok so simply you just see here 
how very nicely you will get the boundary so if you don't have any kind of straight boundary so anywhere uh, you can uh, in india if you want uh, boundary so these types of boundary you can directly access from all living atlas platforms okay so in the just living atlas platforms will give you this benefit to you uh, similarly, uh, if you want to extract the districts of each of this particular locations, okay, so you can simply type India districts, state districts, so you will get the India uh, district boundary also. And from this uh, boundary, okay, Uttarakhand boundary, state boundary, which I just selected, using that I can clip the district boundary also. So, so for that you can simply uh, use um, our from the analysis toolbox, you can go and clip uh, clip tool. You can use the clip tool. So select the clip and input the features which you want to cut out. So that will be my state uh, selections. Okay, so or you can say districts 2023, and using that uh, uh, which you want to um, cut. Okay, so that is uh, important. That is a state 23 selection. So if I use the state 23 selections, okay, so I can click on run. So all my districts also will come, and it will going to show you here. So that is the that is the beautiful things, which whenever you are using a lot of uh, data, you will get from the linear class platform. Uh, yes. Now it see uh, the clipping is completed. Okay. So if you just switching off this, so you can see only those districts which you want. So that will be very nicely visible over here. Okay. So that is that is the wonderful things of this particular tool. So that is the that is a beautiful means whenever you want to represent any data okay so you can represent it very easily so so now you just see here uh, we have the districts maps along with that we have uh, the state boundaries okay so uh, even though i don't have this all uh, files but i will get it from our living atlas platform but now if you want to do uh, some kind of noise maps over this particular uh, area so that also you can very nicely do it okay you know see if i click on this okay and uh, uh, because this is arbitrarily I created this point value so it will not will create an exact map but it will give you an idea how we are going to create a noise maps using a, uh, a geo interpolation techniques in ArcGIS Pro ok. So if you simply click on this final noise Uttarakhand and you can go to our analysis and here you just see here we have geostatistical wizards. So once you select the geostatistical wizards, it will ask you to select the source data, which data sets you want to apply. I want to apply over the final noise and the data field, which of the noise field, which is name was by default coming as a user as well. So I am just selecting that. Okay. So now click on this and you can use the whatever the techniques you want to apply. So I want to apply the creaking and croaking techniques. Okay. So let's see uh, the predictive results, how it will looking like. So this is a some predictive results, how it will looking like and see most of the places I do not have the data so uh, data is, is looking like this the image will come something like this ok. So now you just click on the finish and you just see click on ok. So you just see very nicely how uh, this maps will come up ok. So, uh, so that is the that is the beautiful things over here so, so whenever you want to uh, do so you can create a map like this if you clip on the layer so this is a no clipping option so if you select uh, any 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 maps for the clipping ok clipping to outline clipping to the custom extent so you can you can use that ok so like which are uh, keeping the outline if I click on then which one it is telling about ok you can click on the uh, state if you want to for the for the state boundary so you can select like that ok so it is actually you can use it uh, for uh, that kind of purpose whenever you are actually representing your map so see here so as I mapped out all this particular uh, area, so even the my uh, you can say the base maps also it is actually a, uh, clipped out okay using my boundary and it is how nicely it is actually showing uh, the final maps of the creaking okay. So this is my noise points and over the noise points I created this noise maps over that particular observation okay. So that is all from my sides uh, for today okay. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, our geocoding service, then living atlas platforms, data uh, access from the living atlas platforms, creating a maps and then using a geostatistical analysis to create uh, uh, a noise maps. Okay? So thank you very much, thank you very much, I hope you all like my channel. So if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, 
we will come with our next lecture with a very interesting topic okay in next week thank you thank you all